Good afternoon, parents. Um, I'm making this video. I'm going to try to keep my camera still while talking and walking you through it. But I want to show you how the binders are expected to be. We are having some issues with students being organized and keeping things where they belong. So I feel like if I could show you that, maybe you could help at home to keep those things in their place so that they don't forget or lose or anything like that. So they can have whatever they want here on the front. You know, that's their personal choice. You know, a lot of kids like to draw. But when we open up our binder, we should have a pencil pouch. And in the pencil pouch should be their crayons, their highlighters, markers. They need to have at least three to four sharpened pencils in here at all times. They may have extra erasers. They may even have a small pair of scissors, but the scissors aren't necessary. I have classroom sets of scissors and I have classroom sets of glue. So those kinds of things aren't necessary in the pencil pouch. Behind the pencil pouch, some students do have a ruler here um, for math class, and that's perfectly fine. But we have our tabs here, and the first tab is reading. And this is the first official full-fledged week of school. So behind their reading tab will be their weekly morning work. As you can see, we have Monday, a section they do for Monday, a section for Tuesday. They have a section for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and these practice their actual reading skills. The daily reading ready, this is their homework. So this is Monday night's homework, Tuesday night's homework, Wednesday night's homework, and Thursday night's homework. Following that, we have their weekly student companion that goes along with the PowerPoint that we will have in class, the instructional PowerPoint. And it is stapled and hole punched. And as you can see, it's just interactive where the kids can fill out their vocabulary. They have anchor charts. They have practice pages that we'll do throughout the week together. Or they'll do with me from the board. And that's what should be right now currently in their reading part of their tab. Now, behind language, we have the, um, they need a sheet protector for this. This is something that they will use all year long. It is the proofreading marks and how to use them. They're allowed to take this out to help them with their language grammar morning work. And as you can see, it is labeled. Behind that, they have Monday grammar language morning work. They have Tuesday morning work that's language and grammar. Wednesday and Thursday, and then on Fridays, they have a language and grammar test. This is the study guide, and they're giving it on Monday so that they can go ahead and be studying. That is all that should be behind the language tab. Then we have our history tab. Behind the history tab should be beginning with page 15, week one, day one. We have a Several pages here of history that we have done, that we've worked on, we do a page a day. They should have all the way to page 24, week two, day five, in their notebook. In math, I'm not exactly sure what Miss Avent has, but I do know that she has a laminated um, times table chart that she expects them to have here in this section. In science, I'm not sure what should be behind science. Some students have um, a folder, a three-prong folder, or they have an extra tab like this. Either way, it doesn't matter, but it's at the back of the binder, and it is the Jenkins tab. I have already sent home the independent novel list. It should be in your child's folder at the back of their binder with my name at the center, or it's in a place like this with a tab. Behind that tab or in their folder, you will find the newsletter. That is where the newsletter will be every Friday. And we also have anchor charts that go on the back of those newsletters. Miss Avant also should have a tab or a folder in your child's binder so that things like her newsletter can go home. These are going to be the areas where you find... Um, letters from the school. This is going to be where you find newsletters. It's going to be where you find anything the community's doing, um, graded papers, things that need to be signed and returned, etc. 
Now, obviously behind each of these sections, the students can have notebook paper. Um, you know, according to just, you know, they don't need a whole bunch, but just some, and they can add to it as they go. I just wanted to make this video so that you could see how we are trying to teach the children to be organized so that everything is where it needs to be when they need it to be and so that they can have a successful fourth grade school year. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out.